Roswell Flight Test Crew back here at CES 2015 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm sitting with John McBride here. How are you doing, John? Great. How are you? Great. I'm, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. And on in front of the table here, we've got the Ghost Plus, right? Correct. So created by Thunder Tiger, Thunder Tiger, who has been doing RC production for quite some time. So they've created a sub company called TT Robotics, who we are representing here at CES. So we're showing a couple of the exclusive items that they've been working on. The Ghost has already been out there. We've already retailed, we've already been selling these, but at the same time, a lot of people haven't seen them because of the amount of marketing that has been done. Because you're now the exclusive distributor for these products here in the United States, right? That is correct. So if you've already gone into hobby shops, most likely your, your hobby shop dealer has already heard of us. So HRP will be distributing all of the, the TTR robotics as well as Thunder Tiger. All right, all right, well, let's take a look at this thing. Yeah, so what we have here again is the Ghost Plus. We have a remote that will come with it. They are using a very similar standard S-Bus system for as far as remote control goes. So yes, you can upgrade, change, or do with receivers if you want to get in there and do anything like that. Some of the features, you can do a really quick battery check with it. So if we press the top, we can see what our battery voltage is, which is actually I think a lot of people like. I, I'm easily amused, but I think that's cool. LEDs are cool anyway. It doesn't matter what it is. So after we do, we do a very similar um, press it once and then hold it down and powers up. The indicator will, will stay on during the whole time so you can see, you can bring it low, you can take a look at it and see where your battery is at. Um, this one is actually equipped with a full OSD system as well. So you've got a built-in FPV capability in this aircraft. Correct. So it's it, as far as adding it in and doing else, you're, we're going to leave it open to what kind of uh, video transmission you want to use. So 5.8, 1.3, whatever the case is, we're going to leave that open. But the gimbal is going to come standard with the ship as well as the, the internal OSD system. You don't always get a good quality gimbal that comes with the aircraft these, and this is a three-axis gimbal. This is a three-axis gimbal, fully controlled either by one person or two persons. So on the single person, we have the, the gimbal actually rotating down here at 360 degrees. I can move that up and down. And because that is concerning as it comes around to see the actual uh, landing gear get in the way, we actually have the ability to go ahead and retract the landing gear here. So the ship can stay in its position and the whole time it's still stabilized while, while running. So it's still able to, to be stabilized while still rotating at 360 degrees. I can stop the rotation at any time, slow it down, speed it up, however you want to do it. So in many ways this is a kind of a, a simpler user interface because you just sort of input how much pan or how much tilt you want correct. and it just sits there and does its thing. That is correct. As far as it being operating here, again, we can separate operator if we want to, and, and we can run that separately uh, off of a separate receiver, separate unit, everything is separate. So you can even take this full gimbal and everything else and put it on another ship. Very so cool. It doesn't have anything to do with the flight controller. Can you mount any other cameras? Yes, we went ahead and uh, designed a, a gimbal specifically for the Sony RX. So this will run uh, full stabilization as well as do the 360 degree rota rotation because now we can use a Sony RX camera at 20 megapixel. Boy, we can great, get some really great shots with this. So you can get this, this gimbal for the Sony camera as like an accessory? True. So. Got it, got it. And I just have to ask because it's kind of peculiar. What's this little, it's obviously an antenna. What's that sticking off the top there? Here's the compass indicator is up here. GPS is still inside. So under the hood, what have we got in terms of a flight control system? So TTR has developed their own flight controller with the assistance of Zero UAV. If we know of anybody who likes Zero UAV, they've done some really great stuff over there uh, overseas. And so this has the follow me feature built in as well. So we can, we have that interface running through your application or your phone. Um, and tracking the Wi-Fi signal. So that is also there too. Very cool, very cool. Yeah. Now just uh, some, some basics here. What have we got in terms of batteries and flight performance? Well, the nice thing about the batteries, and we'll grab this one right over here. So we have standardized LiPos. Provided from Thunder Tiger, you can get a single six cell, 6,000, that runs approximately around 18 minutes is our flight time we can also separate the, the unit so we can take the front cover off and we can run two separate three cell 5200s depending on the size so your physical size can will de demand but if you really wanted to get carried away you have enough space inside 
that you can actually run your own battery and plug in an XT60 if you really wanted to. But as far as turning it on, operation sliding in, that's the capability. So we're not stuck with any proprietary battery type. Now, yeah, that, that's actually an interesting point. So, I mean, because you, you, people see this cartridge like you've got here, and you're thinking you're, you're, you're tied into a proprietary battery, you know, which frankly can be kind of expensive Absolutely. for the battery you get. So that, that's not the case here. That is not the case here. So as long as it'll fit in the compartment inside the little battery holder, that's really what, it, what it's all about. So and it's an XT60 connector, so very familiar to the hobbyists yes. out there. Absolutely. All right. Well, very cool looking ship. Well, John, thank you so much for your time today, Welcome. taking the time to look at it. This yes. is really neat. And from CES 2015 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, John. Thanks.